What is the fastest web host? What's up guys, it's Greg from Dear Blogger, and in this video, we're gonna use the industry standard of website speed testing, Pingdom, in order to test the website speed of four popular website hosts, including HostGator, Bluehost, SiteGround, and InMotion, with the hopes that you'll get a better understanding of how fast your website will run from the moment you install WordPress with your domain and hosting onwards into your next three months, six months, one year, two years of making a website or blog. Make sure you stick with us until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to set up a free CDN at the web host that wins our test. Guys, if you've tried to learn about web hosting and you feel confused and web hosting speed and you feel even more confused, then you're not alone. I too once wondered what all this stuff meant, but it's really not that bad. And hopefully I help you pick the right web host for you because really they're all great in their own ways. So let's jump right in. And first off, I wanna say this isn't one of those guides where I'm gonna show you 10 dashboards and 20 different stats that jump around, talk about bandwidth and site delays and servers and all sorts of technical details. All I wanna do here is give you an understanding of three to four basic website speed terms so that you can walk the walk and talk the talk a little bit after you create a blog or website. So if we ask Google what is website speed, right at the top, they tell us the term speed essentially refers to the length of time at which web pages or media content is downloaded from website hosting servers and displayed onto the requesting browsers. Whew, that's a mouthful. Basically, that means how long it takes from the moment someone clicks on the links to one of your articles to the time they're able to read and see the entire thing. During that time, after someone clicks on one of your links, web pages or media content are quote unquote downloaded from the hosting servers that you have so this content can be displayed on someone else's screen. It's not downloaded in the sense that you download Microsoft Word from the internet, but it's downloaded in the sense that it just shows up on the page right here. Like when we click on this, for example, that was really fast. Or when we click on the Kinsta Beginner's Guide, downloading, 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 speed, speed, done. Once you see that little circle wind up and finish, everything is loaded. And this page was pretty fast, especially with all those cool images. If you look up why performance is so fast, you'll find this really interesting test by Google where they actually show how much more money you could make for every second your website loads faster. For example, we have Home Depot right here, which has a current speed of three seconds to load. If their website could run one second faster, their potential annual revenue impact would be over $700,000 just for making their website load one second quicker to visitors. Google tells us that performance is crucial and if your site's user experience is fast and responsive, it can only serve you well. What they mean by that is basically that people are impatient. If a website takes forever to load and goes into the circle and pinwheel forever, people are gonna leave, and really quickly too. They'll leave within a couple seconds. So all that time you've spent creating amazing content because content is king could be wasted if your website loads in more than two to three seconds. Which brings us to our test. So our test is a real case study because over the past two years or so, we've made real websites at HostGator, Bluehost, SiteGround, and InMotion together here on YouTube, meaning we've registered a domain name, we've set up some cheap web hosting, we've installed WordPress, and we've actually built content. Here's an example of one of them right here that we made with Bluehost. So it's pretty simple, easy to use, has some nice colors, buttons, and features, and it generally could represent any business you might have. Now I wanna be clear, these websites aren't the next apple.com. They're just demo websites that would reflect what you would make in say maybe the first three months, six months, or one year of running your website. In other words, a good test for beginners. Now let's look at the results. So what I did was I entered each one of these URLs, like this one, Bluehost Website WP, Again, we made all of these together on YouTube, and I'll show you the tutorials below in the description of the video. And I plugged them into Pingdom in the URL bar, chose a location closest to me. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, so North America, San Francisco is great. And then I click Start Test. I did this all today on October 28th, 2019, and below you can see the results. Now let's look through them, because that's the meat and potatoes of this video. So first up to bat, we have Bluehost. There's a little screenshot of that demo website we just looked at right there in this thumbnail. Bluehost got a C for a 75, which is not bad. The page size is 1.4 megabytes, which refers to how many images, buttons, and text we have. 
But then we get into the problems. The load time is 2.81 seconds. And ideally we want below two seconds. And there's a lot of requests going to the domain name. That means how many times the server had to communicate with the domain name, had to communicate with other resources in order to load all the content. Down below, we can see this Bluehost website got two Fs, an E, I'm not sure how it can go that low, a C, a B, and two A's. Overall, this website would be enough for some informational content, but it's not the kind of website that's gonna rank well in Google because the performance grade is low and the load time is so high. There are WordPress plugins that will help you fix these things, but ideally you want the least errors as possible at the start so you don't have a lot to work on. If you're like me, you just wanna make content. You don't wanna work on making fewer HTTP requests or using cookie-free domains. Bluehost is obviously one of the best web hosts on the internet. They're highly recommended by WordPress and a lot of pro bloggers, but it makes me wonder if they're getting a little bit too big to take care of all of us little bloggers who just wanna start a blog or a website and have some success and earn some money online because this is really slow. Now let's go to our next test results. And this one is for HostGator. So the demo website is called madetoblog.com. Again, we're in North America, San Francisco. And here are our results. Very similar to Bluehost, perhaps because they're run by the same company, Endurance International. The performance is a C. Page size is a little bit higher because this website has more images. That's pretty much my fault right there, so we can ignore that. Load time is high at 2.52 seconds, so we actually went down a little but still too high and there were way more requests on the domain name in order to get everything to load. Again we see two F's, an E, a D, two C's and only one A. Not too ideal. Still a great informational website or a blog. HostGator has some of the best customer service ever on the web which I've personally tested and I've actually used them for my personal blogs for years but this page performance is not that strong. Next in our test results, we have InMotion, also in North America, San Francisco. And when we scroll down, we get a D in performance grade, which is obviously lower than a C. Huge page size, load time again over two seconds, and more requests to get everything from the domain name to load. Scrolling down, the results are a little more encouraging, but if your report card had three Fs, a Bs, and three As on it, do you think your parents would be happy? I think I'd probably end up in summer school. Ideally, you wanna have more average results, like you want the A's, but you want your F's to be like C's or D's at the worst here, because that way your website at least passes in Google's eyes. InMotion's a great host for beginners, affordable services, and really fast to install WordPress, so it could be good for an informational website, but again, we can do better. And for our final test result, we actually have some encouraging news, and that comes from SiteGround. Again, in North America, San Francisco, and SiteGround actually got us a B. A performance grade of 82, a page size of 4.5 megabytes, load time under two seconds, which is amazing, and requests of still a little bit high at 69. But obviously what we need to focus on here is the load time. We're finally under that two second mark. And as we saw with Google, decreasing our page speed by a second, which we did there in going from, for example, Bluehost to SiteGround, actually more than a second was decreased. We can increase our revenue a ton, according to Google. Also, I've never seen a performance grade of a B for a website that was just created. This is a demo site we made called SiteGroundToots.com in our How to Make a WordPress Blog at SiteGround tutorial, which of course I'll link you below so that you can try out SiteGround too. It's definitely worth checking out. And I obviously use them too. And this website ranked great after just being made. All we did was register a domain name, get an affordable WordPress startup hosting plan at SiteGround, install WordPress using their WordPress installer, pick a theme that they recommended to us, which is recommended for any sort of blogger, and voila, made a few edits, and now we have a website. So obviously, as you can see by these two statistics, performance grade and load time, SiteGround 1 are what's the fastest web hosting test this time around. Their report card's not amazing. We did get an F with make fewer HTTP requests, but the fact that every other web host failed in this category doesn't concern me too much. Maybe it's just something that always happens. As for components with gzip and add expires headers, you can install a plugin like WP Smush or Hummingbird made by WPMU Dev, and they'll give you easy steps to take care of these. And from then on out, it's just A's and clear sailing. Like I said before, I've never seen a performance grade B for a brand new WordPress website at one of the major web hosts, and I've never seen that many A's. So with SiteGround as our winner today, guys, as I promised at the beginning, I'm gonna show you how to set up a free CDN at SiteGround. If you have a few more minutes and you plan to go with SiteGround anyways in the future, definitely stick around and check this out because you can add it on right after you set up your domain name, hosting, and WordPress. 
All right, so I'm going to log into my SiteGround account, which you'd get if you went with them at my.siteground.com. I actually have a few accounts, so I'm going to go into the Dear Blogger one. Cool. And then I'm going to visit their article at siteground.com slash speed, which really showcases all that they do for us in terms of speed technologies. So I was the hottest SSD drives and everything, Nginx, not sure what that means, sounds cool, and free CDN available. And this is the link we want to click. All right, so with our tutorial open, I'm going to go back to SiteGround, click on Websites, and I'm going to click on Site Tools under the website that we're going to change today, which is SiteGround Toots. And now really simple, just click on the Cloudflare CDN button. All right, it says be fast, be safe. It takes one click. Don't lag behind, activate Cloudflare now. We can see what we get with the basic option. Super cool. Things like more speed and SSL support. We also get a free SSL, by the way, so you get the padlock icon, and I have a video on how to do that, of course. But all we want to do for now is just scroll down, and we want to create or connect, activate, and configure. So let's click Setup. Then click Create New Cloudflare Account. We're going to go with our email and a password. Basically the same as our SiteGround login. Confirm and Create. All right, and then right here we've selected our domain name. So that's super easy. Just go with the domain name that's the main domain name. We're going to check. I want to automatically reconfigure my website to work through www and activate free. And boom, it's that easy. Cloudflare for our website is now activated. So we now have a content delivery network, aka a CDN, which will load our website in different zones. And then even if you see this cute little exclamation mark here that says DNS check, blah, 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 don't worry, it's already working. I just contacted SiteGround's live chat and they got back to me in like under two minutes. And Gabe says, from what I can see, Cloudflare requires, the records they require are actually properly set up, just from what we did there. I clicked the link, it looked like all sorts of crazy stuff, but point being it was working. He says, it will take some time before the warning goes away. And then I said, oh, so Cloudflare CDN is working right now. That was fast. And he says, exactly, the records are added to your domain's DNS. And Cloudflare is optimizing the domain. That means the domain that you registered with SiteGround is being optimized by their free Cloudflare service. People in different locations around the world that you couldn't possibly keep track of just from making your own blog or website are now seeing your work even faster. So yeah, pretty chill and fast. All right guys, so I'm gonna go back to my account and leave SiteGround's uh, site tools right here. It's their new site tools and client area, but I'm not gonna blabber too much anymore about what the best web host is. I hope you let the results speak for themselves here. Like I said, we make demo websites at all sorts of different web hosts, so I hope we have something for you. Let me know any questions you have about web hosting, speed, domain names, SSL, security, blogging, WordPress in general, or whatever in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you the same day. Please make sure to smash the like button if you learned anything here, and subscribe so that you can join us for more free tutorials in the future. I'm Greg Narayan, and thanks for watching.